Hello and welcome to May Day Media. I'm pointing out a few articles here and there. We've got some here you might be interested in. We're going to go over them all. Uh, well, not all. We're going to hit and miss on some. But uh, before we we're, before we do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Uh, the first article is going to be this apocalypse. Our second one is going to be this orangutan that heals its own wound, which is this is the article you need to go to and read yourself. It's K-R-C-C, N-P-R. You can just hit Google. Orangutan applies medical plant. It'll pop right up. It's worth reading. I'm going to hit some cool points on it. And then boomstick control. Let's see what we got going. Because there's a lot of it. And uh, they're hitting gun owners hard, man. Or excuse me, boomstick owners hard. Let's get started here. Apocalypse goes mainstream. The end of the world is becoming a normal conversation. Now, in this article, they're going to talk about uh, AI, and this is how it's, this is what's really sparked this end time thing, I guess the Terminator deal. You know, these things are programmed, so if they do start killing, it's by whoever programmed it. It's not the machine. It's kind of like saying if you get ran over by a car, you know, it's it's not the car. The car ain't driving. It's the Although nowadays, I guess they do, they got some that are, but anywho, you, you understand the point. Uh, fears of AI are not the only things driving the concerns about the end of the world. Climate change, pandemic diseases are also a well-known threat. Yeah, you know, climate change, it really is. Especially when you're shooting piss in the sky with aluminum and barium, and then you're, you're bombs away in every other country, and then you got other countries that got more smog in a, a day than we'll have in a whole year over there in uh Chicom land i guess we could say it's a, i mean yeah when you got when you got these corporations and governments operating you bet your butt you've got climate disasters that's all they're good for uh potential apocalypse the word apocalypse in the media in the media is a, significant our common interest on how they understood the apocalypse okay here's the what is an apocalypse now this is what it really means humans have been fascinated by the demise of the world since ancient times however the word apocalypse was not intended to convey this preoccupation in greek the verb apocalyptin originally meant simply to uncover or reveal and that's exactly what this means that's this that's that's the term that they that they're meaning when you say apocalypse is that they are uncovering and revealing stuff and what's happening to a lot of people they are uncovering and revealing uh news information stuff they've never heard before so in a sense it is an apocalypse i don't really know how it became to be known as destructive um horsemen of the apocalypse the new testament authors to refer to revelations a divine plan for the world well, his divine plan is to awaken people. The apocalypse is in the contemporary world. Christians, God, judgment, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I guess. But that's not what it means. That's the thing. If you look under the dictionary, it'll say this here. I don't know what Wikipedia is. I don't even trust it. What we fear most, decade by political communication scholar, and uh, to demonstrate the research media even more than they do direct it or alter it while their study focused largely on american views of important policy decisions their findings they argue apply beyond those domains they are correct we can we can use discussions of an apocalypse in the media over the past few decades as a barometer of prevailing public concerns following this logic we collected all the articles mentioning the words apocalypse and apocalyptic from the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post from 1980 to 2023. After filtering out articles centered on religion and entertainment, there were 9,380 articles that mentioned one or more or four prominent apocalyptic concerns, nuclear war, disease, climate change, and AI. Through the end of the Cold War, uh, okay. by the 1990s, however, articles linking the world apocalypse to climate and disease in roughly equal measure has surpassed those focused on nuclear war but what they're not pointing out is that these uh, newspaper publications are bought and paid for and you know a lot of media stuff is 
obviously disinformation. This article itself, in my opinion, is disinformation. Because once it's told you what it really means, it doesn't go through and tell you about, you know, what you're learning. It just tells you about the other forms of apocalypse. Whenever it means to awaken, to uncover things. And as you see, the media does not do that. They want to keep you dumbed down and stupid. But it's still a good article. It's worth reading. And the fact that it's being put on a, a study like this is is important. Orangutan in the wild applied medical plant to heal its own wound. Let's go down here. It's a long article. This is the good juicy part here. Uh, let's see. Where, da, 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 da. Uh, okay. Uh, where are we? Rockus is a male Sumatran orangutan who is believed to be born in the late 1980s, meaning he was around 32 years old when he was seen applying leaves to his wound. He was first observed in the area in March of 2009. His self-treatment is exceedingly rare. Researchers say that in 21 years and 28,000 observation hours, observers at the research station have never seen orangutans using leaves to treat their wounds. Now here's the kicker. You know, he wasn't from that area, okay? We're going to read into this a little bit. And so I'm guessing he must have seen a human do this. You know, monkey see, monkey do. They've done some tests like that, but maybe he, you know, seen another human somewhere do this because just the fact that this animal decided to use leaves as a healing way is amazing, really. Rackus is from the forest, isn't from the forest where he was seen carrying, carrying for his injury. Orangutan males disperse from their natal area during or after puberty over long distances to either establish a new home range in other area or are moving between other home ranges. Therefore it is possible that the behavior is shown by more individuals in his natal population outside the squawk research area. Nearly two years after his injury Ruckus is thriving. He is now one of the dominant males in the research area. Um, medical wound treatment may have risen in a common ancestor shared by humans or orangutans according to the paper I think he's seen it done uh, the research noting that the plant has potent pain relieving effects and adding that the by applying the poultice the orangutan's main goal to have been to protect his wound from flies but the fact that it's a pain reliever Almost, I mean, how would he know just to go for that one uh, weed and does it grow in his own home area? Maybe he had to come to get it. Um, yeah, it's a long article. Like I said, it's very interesting. You want to read through it because it's, it's pretty cool. These orangutans are, look at them guys. Those are supposed to be the, the more the gentle ones that you can deal with. Okay, Mill signs main gun control measure into law under the dome. Biden visiting North Carolina today seeks tougher gun laws after officers' killings. Yeah, and it'll be for you and me that are legal um, boomstick owners, and because uh, obviously the criminals are not going to just turn in their guns. I don't know why it's not a crackdown on crime that would really make a big difference south asian dysphoria group starts mobilizing for biden harris 2024 i don't know what that colorado session enters final stretch with multiple threats to gun owners well here i am, I am in this state so let's check this out legislators have one week left in the year session and while a number of gun control bills have already cleared both the House and Senate anti-gun lawmakers appear to be struggling to get the support they need for their biggest and boldest infringement on our Second Amendment rights, a sweeping semi-auto ban that would prohibit manufacture, sale, and in many cases, transfer of many semi-automatic rifles, shotguns, and pistols. Now, every freaking firearm you've got is probably semi-automatic. Uh, well, I mean, not everyone, but you know what I mean. I mean, do you know how many... 
I mean, <laughs> it, this is just nuts. On today's BearingArms.com and Co., Faster Laura says her sources at the state capitol are telling her here's the better 50% chance the bill will get Governor Jared Polis, though. 1292 has been bottled up for nearly two weeks in the Senate State Veterans Military Affairs Democratic Senator who's on Alex was murdered in 2012 Aurora theater shooting and one of the co-chairs on the committee is a well that's in despite his support for wide array of gun control measures so We'll go down here. Be sh uh, Colonel says the push for gun control has divided the Democratic caucus in the state to the point that some of the most ferocious, like what a, whatever, gun grabbers like Rep. Elizabeth Epps are facing primary challenges from more moderate Democrats. Colonel's not predicting an avalanche of pro-Second Amendment sentiment from Democratic candidates this year, but she does believe that the anti-gunners are out of step with most Coloradans and that could play a major role in the primaries yeah yeah you think I mean uh you know fuck you really be honest South A or is he uh well here we go again oh what the fuck here it is Mill signs main gun control act Let's hit this one, then I'm going to get off here. I'm getting close to my time. Uh, Mainers will be required to wait at least three days to buy firearms under a Democratic proposal approved by Governor Janet Mills over the objections of Second Amendment groups who plan to sue to block the requirements. The proposal, which would which was approved by a legislator in a party line vote, sets a 72-hour waiting period for the most gun purchases that was sought by gun control advocates in response to the Lewiston mass shooting. I hope it can be implemented to accomplish its intended goal of preventing suicide by firearm without overburdening our outdoor sports econo economy and the rights of responsible gun owners and dealers. Ladies and gentlemen, not everybody's meant to be here. And there might come a time whenever you feel that way too. And a bullet would be a lot easier than a hanging, I would have to say. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd, I guess I could overdose myself, but then I gotta go get pills. I'm not a I'm not a pill person. I don't really know how to get them. I do have a firearm. Anywho, not that I would. I don't. I'm not that person. But anyway, a few articles. Hit me up with some comments. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Toodaloo.